Hi everyone. Today I'd like to talk about flight instruments. So we have our six flight instruments here. This is called the six pack. These six right here. And what they mainly do is show the basic status of the aircraft while they're in flight. And so I'll go run through each one and tell you what each of the uses are. So the first one here, we have the airspeed indicator. What this does is it shows the airspeed of the plane in knots as you're flying. And that's useful for landing, maneuvering, takeoff, pretty much everything because every part of flight has a specific amount of airspeed that you need to conduct that safely. And so it's measured with the pitot tube, which is a tube we have outside the window. And air pressure comes in through that as well as the aircraft takes a measurement from the static port, which is the ambient air pressure. And it uses those numbers and factors that into manifest the airspeed on the indicator. The other instrument we have is the attitude indicator. That just shows you whether you're going up or down or rolling left or right. It's like an artificial horizon. It uses a gyroscope to do that stuff. And that's good, especially in instrument flight when you don't know your orientation and you can't look out the window. The other instrument we have is the altimeter and that shows how high your airplane is above sea level. That gets measured using the static port using differences in pressure between outside the aircraft and in the cabin, and that will show on the altimeter. The other instrument we have is the turn coordinator, which shows the quality of your turn, how good of a turn it is. If it's not balanced, there's a little ball down here. It'll move off center, and it's kind of similar to like a level in construction. And so basically, it's useful for like timed turns and standard turns that are safe and helps you stay on balance in your turns. It's measured using gyroscopes as well. The other instrument we have is a heading indicator. That just shows your compass heading, like what direction, north, east, south, west, and everything in between. And that uses a gyroscope as well. And you can switch the heading using this button here. You just rotate the knob. And this, the last instrument we have is the vertical speed indicator right here. And that indicates the rate at which your plane's climbing or descending, like how many feet per minute up or down or if you're going level. That's useful for if you want to ascend in a certain amount of time over a certain mileage or descend or you want to stay level. And that's measured using air pressure from within the cabin and outside the cabin. Using that it measures the differences between that pressure and indicates if you're going up or down based on those, that difference. So that's basically what we have with the six pack instruments for training aircraft, especially the Cessna 172 right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.